you know, one thing I always say, and, and this has kind of become the foundation for a lot of the work that we are doing, and it's kind of become, you know, the, the foundation for the curriculum that we've built. So our approach to recovery is really a growth centric approach. Like I believe addiction recovery is directed, personal and self development and how I got to that realization or to that point where, where, where this is the route that we're taking with the men that we're working with is I always say it took me 20 years to quit pornography in one day. So you listed off, you know, uh, a, a bio there, you know, bodybuilder, entrepreneur, business owner, you know, I've been, been starting and building businesses for a decade now. Prior to that, I did bodybuilding for about six or seven years, um, competitive at a, at, at a very high level. But while I was chasing a lot of these high performance, you know, things in my life, you know, I've always been into podcasting, I've always been into reading and kind of growing myself. So that was kind of one area of my life was like chasing greatness, you know, trying to become the best at everything I was possibly doing while that was going on I was I was living a secret life I was living a double life and it wasn't just with pornography so as a bodybuilder like during you know four six months out of the year when you're focused on prep it's like no alcohol no partying no extra food but the other half of the year I was like balls to the wall like I'm the guy that when I do something I just do it at a level 10 whether it's going to be good for me or whether it's going to be bad I just don't have a switch from zero to ten and that's <laughs> and that's it so while I was, you know, really living my life through my 20s and early 30s, like I didn't really look at my behavior and consumption of pornography as a problem. And, mm. and, and, and I think it was obviously due to the way that it was introduced to me, society kind of acceptance of it, no real, no real men having real conversations about it. So for me, a lot of things started um, in, in late 2017, 2000 or, or 2018 for my recovery. Um, so I, I was very fortunate to be introduced to a group of really strong men. Um, just men that I hadn't been, been around for the first 35 years okay. of my life. These are guys are, you know, they're believers. So I'm a Christian and, and this has come to me in these last handful of years. And my faith is now really at the center of my life and it plays roles in, in the recovery side, but getting around some real strong, influential men showed me some areas in my life where I wasn't living up to the standards that I thought I had. So it's interesting because it wasn't like I, I, I did anything magical. I don't really feel that like, for me, it wasn't a hard path to recovery. My recovery was realizing, A, number one, that I wasn't living up to the standards that I thought I was presenting to the world. Secondly, it was the acceptance of Christ into my life was, was big. But thirdly, it was realizing like, that just because you've been doing something your entire life, doesn't mean it hasn't had negative impacts on you. So I began to kind of look at pornography, porn addiction, the research. There's a great book called Your Brain on Porn by, by Gary Wilson. And about six months into really understanding the effects, I'm like, this is this is the cause of all of my unhappiness. This is the cause of all of my depression. This is cause of all of my ADD, the, the, the inability to focus on things. So for me, it came to the point where I had a, I had a real tough conversation with myself first. Mm -hmm. So in 2017, I was a I was a I, I was a public figure. I had a fitness brand. We were growing online, social media, YouTube, Instagram, all these things. But a lot of my fitness message was 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 filtered through this personal development lens. Like you can become the best person, you can become the greatest version of yourself. If you get healthy first, then you'll become better. But realizing like I wasn't living my best life so i had to get real honest with myself first and, and 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 that's where the recovery started was realizing like hey you have some problems and you have some things about you that probably are holding you back from really becoming the best version the of yourself version, 